Pepsi is one of the most popular beverages in the world. Every day, 150 trucks filled with this drink leave the factory. It is sold in more than 200 countries. But have you ever wondered how Pepsi Cola is made? We visited the largest Pepsi factory in Europe to discover the manufacturing process. It was created in 1893 by the American pharmacist Caleb Braden in North Carolina. Initially, the drink was called Brad String and was produced in the creator's house. Later, it was renamed Pepsi Cola and marketed as a tonic for stomach ailments. Soft drinks are hugely popular beverages consisting mainly of carbonated water, sugar, and flavorings. In the early 1880s, pharmacists experimented with powerful stimulants to add to soda water, including cola nuts and coca leaves. In 1886, an Atlanta pharmacist, John Pemberton, took the fateful step of combining cocoa with cola, creating what would become the world's most famous beverage, Coca-Cola. Until the 1890s, sodas were produced manually, from individually blowing bottles to filling and packaging. Over the next two decades, automated machinery increased significantly, enhancing soda plant productivity. Pepsi reformulated the Pepsi Cola recipe to resemble Coca-Cola more closely. As a result, its sales started to rise rapidly, and in some areas, it managed to surpass Coca-Cola. This factory is the largest PepsiCo plant in Europe. PepsiCo plant was founded in 1991 and is currently one of the largest beverage factories worldwide. After multiple improvements in recent years, the plant currently covers an area of 31,000 square meters with six production lines. But what does it take to prepare a Pepsi? It all starts with water, in this case, coming from one of the four water sources of the plant, 250 meters underground. The water undergoes a thorough filtration process. Water quality is crucial for the success of a soft drink, as carbonated water constitutes up to 94% of a soda. Carbon dioxide adds that special sparkle to the drink and also acts as a mild preservative. Carbon dioxide is particularly suitable for sodas because it is inert, relatively economical, and easy to liquefy. The distinctive flavor of Pepsi is created by adding concentrate to water, a recipe that has been a well-guarded secret for over 100 years. The concentrate is produced only in three plants worldwide, and the factory uses concentrate produced in the Irish city of Cork. 20 types of syrups are prepared daily to meet production needs, and the concentrate is mixed with water and sugar, although there are also several sugar-free Pepsi flavors. Sugar adds sweetness and body to the drink, enhancing the mouthfeel for the consumer's enjoyment. To prevent the growth of microorganisms and avoid spoilage, preservatives are added to the mixture. Antioxidants maintain color and flavor. Ingredients are transported to batch tanks where they are carefully blended. Carbonation is added to the finished product by slightly pressurizing the beverage with carbon dioxide. Once the mixture is complete, the drink is ready and moves to the bottling line. Plastic bottles are made from special plastic formulations. After heating, they are placed in molds that give them the proper shape, and then they are blow molded. Everything is done with extreme speed. Now it's time to fill the bottles with the drink. The final step is adding the cap and label. At each stage of the production process, employees and special devices ensure that Pepsi always has the same taste. Individual batches of the product are meticulously checked in the laboratory, where technicians verify many aspects of quality, such as the correct amount of carbon dioxide and sugar. The beverage is ready for packaging. Robots arrange the number of bottles according to customer orders, and the packaging machine places them in boxes and pallets ready for transport. The plant produces 60 types of products in various capacities and a wide range of packaging. There is also a glass bottle filling line. Empty bottles are washed first. The high temperature helps to remove labels, and they must ensure that the glass is not damaged. Clean bottles are filled, placed in boxes, stored, and picked up by delivery personnel. Trucks are filled with Pepsi bottles, which are then distributed to stores and supermarkets. 
Aluminum cans are also another popular packaging form. They arrive at the factory directly from the manufacturer. After loading them onto the line, they are transported to the filler, where the beverage is dispensed. After filling, the lid is applied, and its edges are sealed. Then, the cans are turned upside down to check if the container is properly closed. At the end of the line, the cans are turned right side up again and placed in cardboard trays. Each production line fills 36,000 bottles to meet demand. But what is your favorite drink? Pepsi or Coca-Cola? Leave your opinion in the comments. Like the video if you enjoyed it and share it with someone who might be interested. Also, subscribe to this channel by activating notifications to keep learning.